Welcome back to another episode of Dumb Air. Today we embark on a journey into the Cold War era, exploring the ambitious tale of Mikhail Gurevich, MiG-105, also known as the Spiral. Join us as we uncover why and how this innovative space plane, born from the dreams of Soviet aerospace engineers, failed to soar into full-scale production. In the 1960s, as the space race reached new heights, the Soviet Union sought to conquer the cosmos with the MiG-105 spiral, a space plane designed to bridge the gap between the atmospheric flight and space exploration. The dream was grand, but the path to the stars was fraught with challenges. In the fierce landscapes of the Cold War geopolitics, the military priorities were ever shifting. The MiG-105 was conceptualized during the time when manned space planes were deemed essential for strategic reconnaissance. However, as late 60s unfolded, a significant shift occurred. Unmanned satellite technologies emerged as more cost-efficient and strategic options for reconnaissance, diverting attention and resources away from manned space planes like the MiG-105. One of the most a uh, distant feature of the MiG-105 was the lifting body design. Instead of the traditional wings, the fuselage itself contributed to the lift during the re-entry. This design was aimed at optimizing aerodynamic efficiency during the critical phase of returning from space to Earth. The MiG-105 underwent a series of suborbital test flights to gather data on its performance during re-entry. The ultimate goal was to develop a vehicle capable of orbital flights, providing the Soviet Union with manned space plane capabilities. The MiG-105 faced significant technological challenges, especially in achieving controlled flight in both Earth atmosphere and space. The transition between these environments presented a complex engineering hurdles that needed to be overcome. As the 1970s dawned, uh, factors of shifting priorities, budget constraints, advancement in alternate technologies, and daunting technological challenges led to the inevitable decision to close the MiG-105 program. The MiG-105's closure marked the end of a dream to create a versatile space plane for both military and civilian purpose. The geopolitical landscapes and relentless march of technological progress had rendered the program's program obsolete. Although the MiG-105 never entered full-scale production, its legacy lives on. The lessons learned from its development, the challenges faced by the spiral contributed to valuable insights to aerospace community, influencing the future space plane endeavors. As we conclude our exploration of MiG-105 spiral, we recognize the audacity of the vision and the tenacity of the creators. Despite its ultimate fate, the MiG-105 stands as the testament to ambitious spirit of exploration. If you enjoy this journey through aviation history, don't forget to like and subscribe and join us for more tales from the skies. Until then, blue skies and happy landings.